beautiful. Let's have a little cut it right down the middle there. Absolutely wonderful. Perfectly cooked all the way through there. Lovely and crispy. How you doing? Hope you're well. Today we're going to make some fish, crispy fried fish. I've had a lot, a lot of emails and messages about this. Today we've done it. So super, super crispy, really easy method, absolutely delicious. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. Let's take a look at the ingredients we're going to use for the batter. So I've got one cup of flour, wheat flour, and half a cup of corn flour or cornstarch, which is the same thing. Here I've got two teaspoons of baking powder. You can use baking soda as well. You can do like one, one of each if you wanted. One teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of turmeric and some salt and pepper. We're gonna get that all mixed together and we're gonna add some cold water. Okay, so mixing bowl, one cup wheat flour, half a cup of cornstarch or corn flour, salt, pepper, and a teaspoon of turmeric. It's gonna give it a nice color. And teaspoon of the chili powder. And then two teaspoons of baking soda, or if you wanted, like I said, you could use baking soda and baking powder mix. Okay, let's first of all just mix our dry ingredients. And then we're gonna slowly add cold water until we get a nice consistency. Little bit of water, give it a mix. Little bit of water, give it a mix. Keep going guys, I'll be back soon. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a really nice consistency there. You want it thick enough so that it grabs onto the fish. One more ingredient, we're gonna put a little bit, just like a few drops or so, of a white vinegar. In that goes, one more mix, then we can move on and take a look at our fish. Okay, so I've got a couple of pieces of fish which I've cut. I'm using this dory fish. You could be using cod, haddock, anything you like really. Bit of extra flour here. We're just gonna, first of all, give it a lovely little coating. Make sure you get all the sides done. Just a nice little dust in there. Let's do the other one. Okay, so we've got our batter mix there. And by the way, I used 300 ml of water, cold water, which I think is just under in fact, it's just over half a pint. Our fish has been dusted. We've still got a little bit of extra flour there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our fish into that mixture, and then we're gonna go back on and give it a, a flour coating at the end. Well, in the meantime, we're gonna get over to the cooker, show you the oil. Okay, so I've got a pan here. I've got like three or four centimeters of oil. I'm using the sunflower oil. You could be using something else if you wanted. Now, you need to get your oil hot, but not crazy hot, because we're just gonna burn the fish on the outside. I'll leave the uh, temperatures down below in the text. Let's get back to the fish. So let's take a piece of fish, and you can see our batter is nice and thick. We're gonna get it in. Give it a nice coat in there. And then we're gonna go straight back. Why don't you just give it a little, let it just drizzle off a little bit, then back into the flour and then double coat with flour. Let me repeat that process. 
Okay, so that was dipped and then back on the flour. Let's flip it over. And then flip it a few times. And as I'm touching it, as you can see, that's kind of, can you see that kind of, it's folding a little bit like that. That's gonna make it a little bit kind of crispy when it goes into the oil. The mixture of the batter and the fresh flour and me touching it, it's kind of making a few folds and that in there. Okay, that one's done. Let's just get down the center there. And that's beautiful. I'll do the other one, then we'll get to the oil. Okay, so my oil's definitely hot enough. You can try it by just dropping in a bit of batter there. So what we're gonna do, take our fish, drop her in. Take our fish and drop it in. Now depending on the size of the fish that you've got, it's gonna depend on how long it's gonna take to cook. But for me, these, these pieces are gonna probably take about maybe four minutes on each side. Like I say, you don't want the oil too hot because it's just going to really blacken and the fish will be not cooked on the inside. See you in a moment. Okay, now I've zoomed in right close here. Now what we're doing, we're now going to be splashing the oil over. And can you see where, that's where I was touching it when I was folding it? To get that lovely effect on the fish. Nice kind of crispiness there. So just keep throwing that oil over there. And you can now hear that the oil has settled down regarding temperature, it's not going berserk. And we're gonna end up with some really amazing, beautiful, crispy, lovely, crunchy fish. See you in a minute. Absolutely wonderful, this is ready to come out. Really beautiful. So. Heat's gone off. Let's grab one of these. Get it onto some kitchen towel, kitchen paper. And look at that, can you see all those beautiful, lovely folds? Absolutely delicious. See you at the table. Okay, and there you go. Super, super crispy. And the fish inside is gonna be beautifully tender and white and delicious. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.